All right, guys, here is the latch that came out of my 6x6x12. I believe it's a Pace. I believe that's the name it was on it and everything faded off of it now. Uh, cargo trailer that I have. And this is the Latchet RV door lock uh, latch that I bought off Amazon. Really, there's nothing wrong with this latch. The only thing that I was going for by doing this is getting, getting it where I could lock it. Um, and it did come with four key to lock keys. And I thought that was, that, that's exactly what I was looking for. Because when I'm gone, there's other people that need to get into it. And I'll be able to pass the keys around. But I can still lock it to keep anyone that I don't want from getting in. So, um, they look to be about the same size. Everything looks like it's going to fit. Looks like it's going to be a r ridiculously quick and simple installation. So, I've already taken this one out. Now... I'm going to show the video on taking this one out, what little bit of video I got, and putting this one back in, and how simple it actually is. Here's a lock I'm going to be replacing. Um, it's been on this trailer since I got it. I didn't buy it new, but it's just a storage trailer. I got some tools and some other stuff in here. But anyway, this is their solution to it not locking. I don't think this is from factory. It may be, it looks like the seal goes around it, but still, I don't mind this, but it's aggravating when there is an actual deadbolt lock right here. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and take these four screws out and I'll see how it pulls out. When you're going to take this off. This I was kind of wondering about, how did it come off? So you get this plate off, make sure you see the deadbolt there, make sure you turn that deadbolt all the way in and then once you get the deadbolt all the way in, it just slides on its key like that. So I'm thinking then push this in and it should just slip out the other side. I, well, no, I guess I had to take these screws out too. And that was simple enough, self-explanatory enough. Take that little plate off. And I'm thinking that that should pop out right like that. So you'll turn it in, yeah. and now it does have a gasket on it. It's also got some sealant on it. I'm not going to be putting any sealant back because I think I'm hoping and praying the gasket will be fine. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, they do have the four screws put in right here. I'm going to go ahead and take those four screws out. When I was looking at these things on Amazon, I was looking for videos on here about reviews for a good latch. And when I was looking on Amazon, I really wasn't sure if it would fit, if it was what I was looking for. I really wasn't very sure about anything because I've never done this before. That should pull right off there and it does. So you just separate it like that. Now, scrape what's left of the critters out of here. And this should go right around and slide right in there like that. Perfect fit. Okay, so there are some other things that I'm gonna need to do as far as like adjusting it up and down, but I do wanna go ahead and get the latch on. That way it's not slipping and sliding around on me and taking a chance on falling out. So once I got it put in, I'm noticing that these are going to be a little bit easier to get at than the ones on the back. And you may have to bear with me a little bit. I'm trying to hold everything. This would be a whole lot easier if you had a friend to hold it and help you straighten it up. But I'm pretty used to doing things by myself, so I'm pretty sure I can get it figured out. But... So using the clamp, I did get one bolt, one screw started. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get another one started. I'm, I may have to tighten them down pretty good to get all the screws in to pull it down snug to where the, it'll bring the back down close enough I can get the back ones in. But most of that is that new gasket. It seems to be holding everything apart, which is a good thing because when you get it in, you want a good tight seal.
All right, let's get it on. Let's see how it closes. All right, so now we're gonna put the little trim piece back on. And the kit, it actually came with longer screws if I would have needed them, if my door would have been thicker. So that's a good thing to know. And let's check it out and see how does it close. So whenever I got the latch installed, it wasn't that big of a deal. Just the four screws and putting it in. And it kept hitting whenever the latch would close. The deadbolt wouldn't work. It was coming in just short of the hole here. So I was sitting here thinking, well, that doesn't even seem right. You know, so I got to looking and the more I looked around, I grabbed a hook to my door and lifted up on it. This latch, these two bolts were loose. These two bolts were loose. This is an old trailer and it had been drug, it's been drug around a lot. And the reason I wanted the latch is one reason I feel like there's an issue is you would lock it with the old one and put the lock through going down the road. This would jump open and it would just sit there and jiggle around you know for this one i wiggled pulled and twisted and uh pried on it and it doesn't come open and i also have the key now where i can deadbolt it i didn't have keys to the other locks so i think for the money that's a really good investment and if i wouldn't have changed this to that this today i would have never known that those bolts were loose down there on the frame or on the hinge and the deadbolt works just as it should so I can still put the padlock on it to deter anybody from trying to get into it. But I believe myself that if somebody walks up and they see the, the padlock and then they grab this and it, they see that's locked, so they got this lock, that lock, and this one, that's going to be a pretty serious deterrent for me by trying to get in this door right here. Guys, I kind of forgot about this video. It's been about six months and I was just scrolling through my phone today and saw it. And uh, But I wanted to go ahead and put it out because that's been a really good investment. Now, for one, like I said in the video, if somebody walks up and they're looking at trying to break into it, well, you got three separate locks that they got to, that, that's going to determine. It's only going to keep an honest man honest, but you know what I'm saying. But the biggest place I was impressed was I had to pull that trailer. I don't hardly ever pull that trailer, but whenever I do, you know, I like for it to be in good shape. So I pulled the trailer about 60 miles, 30 miles one way, 30 miles back. And one thing I used to notice is the door would always come unlatched, always. The day I bought it, the door come unlatched on the way home. And uh, it would come out and it would rest on the padlock. And that had actually gotten the mount for the padlock. Uh, if you saw that the padlock latches is what I'm gonna call it. Uh, the one on the door was actually loose and wobbling around. But I went 30 miles one way, 30 miles the other, and it stayed locked the whole time. And I'm, I don't know if the latch is just that good or if it's just because it had a deadbolt. You know, I can actually operate the deadbolt now. So, um, and installing the latch at door latch, um, it was a very simple installation. It would have been nice to have had two people to kind of compress it down. And I didn't show a picture of that gasket, but it had a real thick foam gasket behind it that comes in the kit. And uh, um, it would have been nice to have two people there to kind of compress that gasket, but really it, it wasn't bad at all. What threw me off really bad is I didn't realize my door was sagging down so low. And that's probably another reason my door kept popping open. And once I, I took a floor jack and put it under the door and raised the door up, and I should have shown that, but I raised the door up and I tightened all those bolts back up and it's perfect. It closes better than it ever has since I've owned it. So, and then the latch works great too on it now. So anyway, would I recommend the latch at door latch? Absolutely, highly recommend it. Nobody's, you know, it's not a paid thing. I did order it with my own money off Amazon. I just am really happy with the product and thought I'd share it with you guys. Cause I looked on YouTube and I didn't really find a whole lot of videos about any particular door latch and how they worked and how to install it 
I may have missed something, but that was my experience. So, anyway, I hope everybody's done good. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you out. And um, the link is in the description for the latchet uh, door latch on Amazon. And I will see you in the next video.